If I don't, then I don't know about going through with this pregnancy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hey, how the heck are you? It's Rissa and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing episode chapter 10 and 11. So without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and dive right into the video and get started. And now I need you to be honest with me and let me know if you're having an affair and who it's with. London, are you gonna admit something? I think you should sit down. I knew it! What did you do? Me? What did you do? You got a freaking vasectomy three long freaking years. I thought something was wrong with me. Who's at the door? Is that your lover? Oh, hey, I forgot you were coming over today. Hey, Alex. Hey, Pia. Is this a bad time? Yeah, actually it is. Pia, I'm sorry, girl. Actually, stay, Pia. I was just heading out. Oh, <laughs> who's that? It's just Vince. What are you guys talking about? We're going to link up for a drink or two tonight. You didn't think to ask me? Why the heck does he want to link up with Vince? We are literally going around the corner of the bar to catch up. Wait, we are literally going around to the corner bar to catch up. Since when are the two of you friends? Well, we went out the other day together and had a good time. I have to admit, he's pretty cool and gives good advice. You mind if I go out tonight? Tell your husband you want him to stay in. Tell your husband you don't mind. Honestly, I really don't care what he does at this point because he already blamed me for cheating, which she is, but like, he doesn't know that. Um, and he was already having an attitude, so you know what, I really don't care if he leaves. So tell your husband, don't care. Why would I care? Yeah, why would you? I just need to grab something before I go. Are you sure you don't want me to leave too? We could always plan your gender reveal another time. No, please stay. Let me just do something real quick. So you're hanging out with my husband right now? Yeah, he just texted me. He knows I stepped out on him. What? How? How do you think? He has a vasectomy? I'm pregnant? Do the math. Oh yeah, about that. Please don't say anything stupid. What would I say? How good you are in bed? Oh, I'm just kidding by the way. I'm not in the mood for jokes. We just got into a huge fight and we didn't even finish our argument. I'm sorry, it was a bad joke. I won't bring up that we had in the closet today. I forgot about that, that was the same day. You're really pissing me off. Please make the contact between the two of you brief. I'll try. But if I start acting weird, he may become suspicious. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. If anything, I can try and calm him down for you. Just don't let him drink too much. All right, see you soon. Have a good time. Oh, trust me, I will. Okay, he doesn't even know that London cheated. So why is he being a butthole already? Dang, calm down. Okay, what was that all about? I'm in big trouble, Pia. Aw. I brought up cheating to her. And what did she say? She told me I should sit down. I knew she cheated on me. I can hear it in her voice. But then one of her friends came over and I just wanted to leave. I don't want to hear it. I'm so sorry, man. I know your wife loves you very much. That is so bad. This whole situation is so twisted. Then how could she cheat on me? You don't know if she did for sure. I doubt my vasectomy failed. But medicine fails us from time to time. Well, I went to my doctor and left a sample. I'll find out soon if I have any swimmers left. If I don't, then I don't know about going through with this pregnancy. <laughs> oh my god. I sat there and told Pia about the vasectomy. I left out the part about me sleeping with Vince. I did tell her I had a one night stand with someone out of frustration with Alex. Are you going to tell Alex that you cheated? What choice do I have? The nerve of him getting a vasectomy behind your back. He better forgive you so that you guys can move past this. You think he will forgive me? You guys both messed up and I think you just need some marriage counseling. What about this baby? You think he would want to raise someone else's baby? He would have no choice since he purposely made himself infertile. How else does he expect you to get pregnant? These things aren't always reversible. I sat there listening to Pia go on and on about how Alex has no choice to accept this child. But what if he doesn't? What if he leaves me? Or worse, find out whose child it is. I can see the drama now. You have to be rational, man. You can't just tell him to not go through with the pregnancy. Then maybe I should just cheat on her too. And I, oh. 
there's plenty of opportunities here. And what will that solve? You need to go home and face her and talk things out. Even if she did cheat on you, she had to have a reason. She doesn't seem just like the type that would be reckless with her body. That's the thing I don't get. Is this all because she wasn't getting pregnant? There's only one way to find out and that's by talking to her. But you can't approach her like this in an angry state. You're right, I'm going home to sleep on everything before I talk to her. Bye. Can we close, oh. He was saying, can we close our tab? I thought he was saying bye. Alex is back home. She's sleeping again, of course. Anything to avoid our conversation from earlier. Or maybe she's just tired. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, she's also pregnant and tired. She won't be able to avoid what we're going to do tomorrow. I have to face Alex today and tell him that I had an affair. First, I have to get ready for work. We'll just pick an outfit. We don't have time. Ew, this is ugly. You look fine. Just go to work. <laughs> Glad you're all ready for work. You scared me. I thought you were at work already. You thought wrong. We have to make a pit stop before work. What is Alex up to? He did not just bring her there. That is so embarrassing for her. Hey doc, I brought my wife in to hear the results today. Um, okay. How are you doing, Miss Tipton? I'm doing okay, I guess. Congrats on the baby, thanks. Can we get to the results, doc? Of course. So something interesting showed up. Your analyst, your an, your an, your analysis came back with a couple of live sperm. How many? Only a hundred viable sperm. So what does this mean? It means you probably have a few sneaking in through new anastom- I don't even know English doctor. Does this mean my husband got me pregnant? That count is extremely too low to be considered fertile. A man needs at least 15 million to get a woman pregnant usually. But you know what they say, it only takes one. This can be that one in a million miracle. I do have to get going guys. Best of luck. Bish way? Bish way? But there's an itsy bitsy chance that you made your husband, whatever, does this change anything? Continue. Continue. Let's go. Awkward silence. Break the silence or let your husband break the silence? I'ma break it. Babe. Wow, I can't believe this. How are you feeling? You don't look too happy. I'm okay. I'm just upset at myself. Oh no, please don't. I'm sorry for ever accusing or doubting you. I'm sorry for be I'm sorry for going behind your back and putting you through this heartache. Wow, I can't tell him I cheated on him now. It can wait. I love you. Oh my gosh. London, we are heading to work. Why are you guys coming home? We just came back from the doctor. I was just dropping by to pick up something I left. Babe, why don't you grab what you need with Shandy? I'll catch up with Vince quick. Sure. What happened at the doctor? You seemed relaxed. I think the baby is mine. <laughs> wow, what did the doctor say to make you say that? I have some viable sperm. The doctor said it's a low probability because the count is really low, but it only takes one. Congrats, man, you're worried for no reason. Vince is such a liar. I know, I feel so much better now. I don't know what I would do if my wife cheated on me. I love her so much and she didn't deserve my lies. Yeah, she's a great woman. You definitely should show her how happy you are about the baby. Hmm, that seems like a good idea. I'll take her to a romantic date. So Shandy planned a double date for us tomorrow. I booked a couples class for us. Awesome, I can't wait. At work. London, can I talk to you? Sure. I already know what he's going to say. Your husband told me about the doctor visit. Why would he tell you our business? Are you joking? Are you joking? <laughs> no, he told me about it because he told me about his affecting me a little while ago. Uh-oh. Was this before or after we had Before. Are you crazy? I swear I wanted to tell you, but it wasn't my place. I saw how sad you were, but I promised your husband I wouldn't say anything. Did you also promise him you wouldn't sleep with me? Because I'm sure he would have appreciated that. Please just listen to me. Hear him out, yell at him and get out. Just hear him out, even though you're pissed. Why would you sleep with me knowing my husband had a vasectomy? I slept with you because I wanted to, not because of his vasectomy. I am wildly attracted to you. I had no idea you would actually get pregnant from a one night stand. Well, you know what they say, it only takes one. That reminds me of the Corvette. Uh, it only takes one. It only takes one. Do you guys remember that on TikTok? Uh, please tell me you do. I'm gonna put the video in if I can find it, but. It only takes one. Only takes one.
Sorry, London. Part of me doesn't regret getting you pregnant. He had no right to go behind your back and get fixed. And we had no right sleeping together. Please leave. I need time alone. I'll see you for our double date tomorrow. I'm thrilled. Can't you tell? Oh man, they're all messed up in so many ways. Like sitting in a car with them was all beyond awkward. Not to mention Shandy made us wear matching outfits. Why are you so quiet, London? I'm not. You haven't said a word this whole ride. I think I'm going to be sick. Just enjoying the view of the city and talking and listening to you guys talk. How could Vince laugh and giggle like nothing has happened? Well, I guess that's the point. Act like nothing happened. As long as you're feeling okay, you usually aren't this quiet. She's a talker like Shandy, huh? Yeah, there are times I can't get her to stop talking. Shandy's the same way. No, mo no wonder why they get along. There's no way Shandy can talk more than London. Um, don't be rude. <laughs> don't be don't fucking do rude. Are you kidding? Boys always know how to show off in front of another. We get along because we are both ambitious and fun women. I'm so glad that we are all hanging out and becoming close. I always thought you were a little bit uptight, London. But you are actually really cool. Thanks. You mind if I smoke in here, Alex? No, go right ahead. Why is he smoking in front of pregnant? Yeah, I was about to say, don't smoke in front of these pregnant women. The windows are down. Is your brain that empty? Just stop talking, Shandy, before this gets ugly. I can slap that cigarette right out of your hand. I dare you. Go ahead, Shandy. Make my day. Um, I think it's best if you don't smoke in the car, man. I'm about to roll the windows up anyways. Dang, that was intense. So Shandy, what is this couples class about anyway? I was wondering the same thing, London. Him saying my name sent shivers once again through my time. <laughs> I hope she's reminiscing. Girl, get that out of your head. Here he is talking to me and saying my name as if nothing happened. Uh, London, are you okay? Yeah, why? I was explaining to you what the class was about and you didn't respond. My bad, what were you saying? It's just about bonding time between couples, intimacy and appreciating your partner. I thought it would be good for all of us. That sounds wonderful actually. The GPS says we'll be there in four minutes. In that building right over there. Building looks like an abandoned haunted house. <laughs> like why does it look so scary? I'll meet you guys inside. I'm gonna have a quick smoke. You don't wanna take this seriously and rather smoke? Then you can be London's partner for the night. Shandy, the whole point of this is to grow closer to your own spouse. He can say that again. Fine, I'll be inside when he decides to stop sucking on his cancer stick. See you inside, man. Yeah. Oh my god, that would've been bad. Thanks everyone for joining. Today we have a fun-filled day of activities designed to bring you and your partner closer. Nice to join us. Hope you effed up your lungs enough out there. Vince looks so done with Shandy. He looks like he doesn't care. <laughs> We will be doing several exercises to increase the intimacy in your relationship. First, we will start with talking to your partner and telling them everything you love about them. Then we will move on to some hands-on activities. There will be a cooking challenge, a know your partner challenge, and a dancing challenge. By the end of the night, you and your partner should be hot and steamy for one another. Now you have two minutes to say five things you love about your partner. I'll start. I love how my eyes met Vince's eyes for a brief second. Oh. London! Does she love Vince or something? Like, I love how you have always been faithful to me. I love how you have always been understanding. I love how you always have been a hard worker. I love how you can always keep me calm. I love how you can always brighten my day. I love how you accept all my flaws. They're gonna have a struggle. <laughs> yeah, I love how you smoke your lungs away and don't care about how it affects the baby and I. I love how you are so condescending and rude. I love how you are still working that dead end job. I love how you don't care that I'm actually working. Remember guys, this is a positive activity. Please refrain from sarcastic remarks. Shandy and Vince are so toxic, like holy crap. Next task, I will read off a list of instructions that you and your partner will follow. This will require communication skills and listening. After you complete the meal, you would feed one another. Now listen carefully. You're going to grill the mushrooms, add the garlic, chopped onions, and peppers. Grill mushrooms, add garlic, Cause sometimes episode be making you remember things. Grill mushrooms, add garlic, chopped onions and peppers. Grill mushrooms, add garlic, chopped onions and peppers. Mushrooms, garlic, onions, peppers. Oh, I guess not. I'm over here memorizing for no reason. She's just giving the ingredients. What am I doing? So what are we doing first? 
I knew it! I didn't even look at the... We're going to grill the mushrooms, garlic, onions, and peppers. Technically, you are missing something happening simultaneously. What? What? We are grilling the mushrooms, garlic, and onions, and peppers. That's what we're doing. Oh my gosh, isn't that what it said to do first? It literally said that in the beginning. You're going to grow the mushrooms, add the garlic, add the garlic chopped, chopped onions, onions, and peppers. And peppers. So stupid. This is actually kind of fun. I should cook more often for Alex and myself. We're supposed to add most of the cheese to make it cheesy. We're only supposed to add half of it, Shandy. No, most of it. Then add a little on top. Interrupt them and tell Shandy that she's incorrect. Let them figure it out. Ugh! I want to let them figure it out, but they're yelling. So I might as well be like, actually, you're supposed to do this. But Shandy's going to be pissed. So I'm just going to do it anyways because I really don't care. But yeah, whatever. Shandy, actually, Vince is right. What? You're only supposed to use half the cheese for now. Whatever. Thank you, London. She's so hard-headed. Like, don't look at me. Why did you get involved in that? If they're yelling, why am I not going to be like, oh, I don't want them to get the ingredients wrong. Exactly. Like, calm down, Alex. The two of them fight about everything. It's embarrassing. Shh. <laughs> they can't hear me. You don't know that. Oh. <laughs> Nothing. We're almost finished with our meal. I doubt Shandy and I will be finished at the rate we're going. Oh my gosh, a fire. You burned the food. No, I didn't. You were too busy talking to our neighbors and not watching the stove. Is everything all right over there? Ah, just trying not to burn this place down because of my stupid husband. Dang, Shandy. You're so ridiculous, Vince. Please be careful. We can't burn this down. It's a rented place. Wow, they sure know how to be embarrassing. Literally. How about I help you two through the next few steps? What steps? This food is burnt. I don't want it. Sorry, instructor. She's just a little high strung because she's pregnant. Well, congrats, but I need you two to be careful. I have to clear the smoke now. Yeah, sure. I'm just ready to move on to the next thing. Really enjoying this, being wrapped in Alex's arms, dancing. This is the man I fell in love with. This is such a sad story, but a lot of you guys always say Vince. So Vince is what we're going for. Oh my gosh, you have two left feet. Vince and Shandy again? You're stepping all over my feet. Calm down, Shandy. How can I when you're stepping all over my feet? Okay, maybe that's his first time dancing, Shandy. Calm down. Is everything okay over there? My feet are not okay with these jumbo feet stepping all over them. <laughs> I think that's enough class for today. I want to thank you guys for coming, but the class is now over. Oh man, I hope you're, ha I hope you're happy, Shandy. Class is ending early because of you. No, it's just over. Thank you everyone for coming. Oh. Wow, they didn't do a single activity in peace. Unbelievable. Wait a minute, is that blood? Shandy, you're bleeding. I'm pregnant. I wore white because I can't get my period. Baby, you're bleeding. We have to get to the hospital right now. No, Shandy. Aw, Shandy, no. Stay tuned what happens next. Oh my goodness gracious. Why would they end it like that? Yeah, I'm gonna start reading two chapters a week for you guys. Very excited to see how this ends. And yeah, so I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and staying tuned until the end of this video. If you stay tuned until the end, make sure to comment down this emoji with whatever you wanna say. So I know you stayed until the end. So yeah, I will talk to y'all later. <laughs> I'm up in the clouds when I'm